all right now before we get into the next step i would like to take this opportunity to tell you guys that you know this entire project or this entire um series is based on how we communicate with you know google api google sheets api because you know we are going to pull the data as i showed you in my introduction the, from google sheets into data studio and this would have been uh, i mean this was helped by one of my colleague in my office his name is manish mangwani and i have referred to his package so let me see manish mangwani github that's how i remember his package name so this is one package which i have referred to and we did a peer programming to get the entire thing for the actual requirement for my office and then i decided to you know create this um series but yeah so this is the you know, code which he has written this package helps you um pull data from google sheet into your application we use this sometimes to you know uh, give our clients the ability to import um users from a google sheet so that you know they can uh, paste in the information of all the users they want to import and then uh, we we can run a command or a cron which basically checks whether there is uh, data in that google sheet or not and based on that it will create those users so that's a very helpful package and it's very it's mm -hmm. just created a few days back and uh, you know we used this to um, read data and extend it uh, in my own video you can see that i will extend it to write to google sheet as well okay so yeah i highly recommend you go through this you will um be able to understand how things work um apart from you know following this video as well so let's look at how we set up you know our communi uh, communication between the google sheets api and the code base okay so obviously you need a google account that's for sure you know the prerequisites is something which i have followed from here then we need to go to console.developers.com this is where we will be able to create our project and get the credentials.json so let's go there okay i'll create a new okay this is my existing project i'll create a new one which is let's just say data studio tutorial okay i'll just create it and also i think you need to ensure that you have the google sheets api enabled okay so google sheet Oh, that's too many e's right so if you go over here see it says api enabled i think if you don't have this you will see a button in blue which says you know enable this api so you need to ensure that you have that enabled this is mentioned here as well and yeah this is where um things can go wrong and so you know just make sure that you have that thing uh, properly set up Okay, where is my project i tell you this thing is a little mm, confusing at times they keep changing the design all right so we are here i need to create credentials inside credentials i will manage account yeah we need to create a service account okay service account uh, is very much like and you know, if you have guys used aws it's like an iam account where you know, there's a key and a, sec a secret id uh, sorry secret key and an id and that uh, combination is used to authenticate who that user is instead of you know passing around certain tokens or maybe usernames and password encrypted so this file is basically the source of doing that so i'll create a service account service account name let's say is data studio tutorial okay so this is the id of that service account okay that's fine i'm i'm happy with that um service account for google sheet to data studio tutorial i'll delete that obviously but yeah for now i wanted to get through this so that you know how things work service account is created and once you have done that go over here create key okay, you can use p2l format but i'll uh, use json that's the recommended approach so once you create it it will ask you to 
download the JSON file. For now, I'll um, copy that to my desktop. Rather, why don't we copy it in our storage folder? So this is my data studio tutorials to, uh, folder and in here I'll go inside storage I'll save this as credentials and that's a JSON file so with this if I come over to my PHP storm I see the credentials.json and if I open it you'll see that it has certain information in it for example project ID private key ID and all those stuffs so this is how you know the api basically authenticates um the user current user and that allows us to you know use the api to communicate with the sheet okay so the project is set up now we need to create a google sheet so i'll create one drive.google.com so i have this new sheet ready okay so let's name it data studio tutorial all it is written here but i think one very important step is you need to share this um sheet with the service account okay it's it's like an user so you need to share that sheet with that user so that this particular user has the ability to write to this sheet it's very much like how we typically um share a google sheet with any of our friends right so we share this sheet with the ability to um, you know edit so it has edit edit rules right and now i think we should have um, the ability to you know kind of read write from the sheet um, based on the authentication credentials that we have created is we basically um, install the google api client okay so let's just say we do composer require or why don't we see i think it okay no not this one google api client composer i want to kind of fix on a latest version so what what is that it's 270 right okay so i can use this not a problem and when this package is installed we can look at how we can um start looking at our data from google sheet 